Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to see some applications of wireless communication systems like paging, cordless and mobile systems. The first application of the wireless communication system is cordless telephone system. As we can see in this diagram, there is a portable handset which is wirelessly connected to a base station. The base station is then connected to a PSTN or public switch telephone network. The first generation of the cordless phones were used to a limited range of few meters. In the second generation, the distance of this cordless phone increased to couple of hundred meters. In the second generation, a provision was also provided to add a paging system so that the user may understand the page number and then using the cordless phone could make a contact with that number. The only disadvantage of the cordless telephone systems was that if it is used in outdoor location away from the range of the base station, then the call may be disconnected. Hence, cordless provided only in-home use and not outdoor usage. The next application that we are going to see is paging system. Paging is nothing but a brief message that has been sent. Here, using the paging access number, what we do is using the PSTN, we dial a message and that goes to the paging control center. From there, the paging control center forwards the message to the various paging terminals. These terminals have base stations like transmitters which broadcast the message in the entire region. This region depends on the types of paging systems. The area may vary from 2 kilometers to 5 kilometers. The paging systems may carry numeric messages, alphanumeric messages or voice messages. The paging systems are designed to provide reliable communications to the user. Whether the user is inside a building or under a bridge, it should be ensured that the communication is made. Here, high power transmitters are used. The data rate for paging systems is very less since only few bits of messages are being sent. The next topic that we are going to see in applications of wireless communication systems is cellular telephone systems. As we can see in the diagram, there are hexagonal cells. These hexagonal cells are nothing but geographical locations in which the mobile will be moving from one place to another. At the center of these hexagonal cells, we have base stations. These are towers that has transmitters and receivers for communicating with the mobile stations. All the base stations are wirelessly connected to MSCs. MSC stands for Mobile Switching Center, also known as MTSO, Mobile Telephone Switching Office. The MSC is then further connected to the PSTN, called as Public Switch Telephone Networks. Each mobile station has a trans receiver that is a transmitter and a receiver to communicate with the base station. A mobile may travel from one cell to another cell and during that it may be handed off from a base station of one cell to another cell. Here handoff takes place. The base stations are then connected to the MSCs. MSC handles multiple base stations together. At any given point of time, every MSC has more than 1 lakh subscribers to handle. At any given point, it has more than 5000 simultaneous calls that takes place. By limiting the coverage area of these cells, we can increase the capacity of the system, which we will be seeing in future lectures. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.